This device is an old school tail light from a car. It's a light bulb that goes in the tail light of most cars, probably made from the 1950s up until maybe two or three years ago, and even some now. So we know a lot of those have been replaced now with LED technology, which is supposedly better, and it is in a lot of ways. So the cool thing about this light bulb, though, is notice it has two filaments in there. It's a dual filament light bulb, and one of the filaments is the tail light on the car, and the second filament is the brake light. When you step on the brake, then it closes a switch, and then the, the brake filament lights up. And if you notice, the one that's usually brighter is the, is the brake light, right? Like you want to have that visual cue that someone's putting their brakes on. And the uh, we could apply a voltage across this, so the terminals work like this. So there are two terminals on the bottom. There's one that connects to each of the filaments. Then the metal case is the common between the two filaments. And I could use my power supply. I'm going to kick it up to 12 volts because this is a 12 volt light bulb, because car systems are usually 12 volts, and I could apply a voltage across it. So once again, the uh, outside is the ground, oh, you can see that, is one of the filaments, and then the other filament. Can you guess which one's the brake light? First one, or second one? Now we can look at the power supply as we're doing this. First light, second light. So your task is going to be able to tell us what wattage the light bulb is. And the circuit that we just completed looks like this. We have our 12 volt DC power supply. You have to write in the voltage and the type. And then we had the red wire and the black wire. We touched the light bulb and a light bulb schematic symbol looks a little bit like that. There's different types of them. And that's one connection right there. Now you can imagine, you know, this would be maybe like the running light condition. So that's filament number one. And then when we step on the brakes, We close a switch and we energize filament number two. This symbol up right up here is a switch and this is an open switch. In other words, when the switch is open, you know, the circuit is not complete, so no current's flowing. And then if you close the switch, like say if you stepped on the brake pedal, then it would be closed like that. So it's closed and open, It'll probably normally open unless you step on the brake pedal, but that's a switch right there. So EK307 is a lot about electrical circuit modeling. It's how to model different things as electric circuits or how to simplify things. And we could simplify our light bulb schematic and say that an incandescent light bulb, you know, an old school style light bulb with the filament in it, the filaments could be modeled as resistors. And you've seen resistors now probably plenty in the class. So instead of having those filaments in there, we could put in those two resistors. And you could, if we know that the voltage across the resistors or the filaments and we know the current, then we could figure out what the wattage is and it's really going to be the same equations as for a resistor or any other device. So that's a task that we're going to leave up to you.